and former College of Business and Economics Senator. I am opposed to the tuition increase for the following reasons. First, HCC student government is in the process of suing UH right now for fiscal mismanagement. Secondly, last year I requested numerous financial documents from UH and there are financial documents from the months of July 2012 to May 2013 that are missing. This is hundreds of thousands of dollars in student fees that are just doesn't do not exist. In addition, agendas and minutes regarding how student fees are spent and allocated are also missing from, from the Campus Center Fee Board. And they've not been provided to me, even though I requested this over eight months ago. You can see all of the documents I for, that I requested at uhstudentunion.com slash transparency. I, in addition to, mis, to the missing financial data and documents, I have witnessed firsthand disregard and discrimination against students for certain students from Campus Center administration. I applied to an open student government seat in February 2015, and I was not appointed to the position because of a harassment complaint that I filed against the president. This is an example of textbook discrimination. And in an effort to get students more engaged in student government, we started USU News. We attended public student government meetings and filmed the meetings. Not only were we threatened by student government and UH security and ejected from the meetings, we had to defend ourselves against student conduct code complaints and temporary restraining orders from the district court of the Third Circuit here in Hilo for filming public meetings. The complaint and restraining orders were determined to be frivolous and all of this happened on, under the oversight of the same campus center director. This same campus center director also happens to be responsible for the freedom of speech complaint that caused the university to, to pay $50,000. The student government is in charge of $170,000 per year in student fees. In the last election, there were only four students that ran. This is because students are being discouraged from participating in our student government process. And that's because there's improper oversight of the policy making. So to the honorable administrators here today, I request that you clean house first, conduct an audit of how, financial, of how the finances are being managed here, and conduct an audit of how student leadership is also being taught and managed and first, properly managed university experience that we are already entitled to before increasing our tuition. Thank you.